My dear friends in Christ, today we are celebrating the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We are here in the month of November, which is a time to remember those who have died, the faithful departed. Sometimes we can focus on death and the loss of life, but we also need to turn our minds and our hearts to the idea of resurrection and the promise of eternal life. Today's scriptural reading, the Gospel passage, focuses on the resurrection. The Sadducees were a group of Jews who did not believe in the resurrection of the dead, which is why they're sad, you see. Anyway, they pose a question to Jesus about a man who dies and his wife uh, is widowed, but then she, according to the Jewish practice, they had what was called the Leverate Law. So the man's brother would then take the widow as his wife to try to generate offspring. But then that man dies, and so on and so forth. There are seven brothers, each who marry the woman, each of them dies, and they pose this question to Jesus, in the resurrection of the flesh, whose spouse will she be? Jesus gives the answer that in heaven, there aren't giving of husbands and wives as such. Why? Because in the earthly realm, marriage is necessary for the generation of children. But in the resurrection of the flesh, the children of God are not generated through sexual reproduction as such. They're, they become children of God in a new way, and their flesh is risen, and they are like the angels in the sense that they will live forever. So there's no need to generate new children through reproduction. Secondly, Jesus also then uses the story of the burning bush. When God spoke to Moses through the burning bush, he said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were long dead. Their tombs were there. Nevertheless, God says, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as if Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were still alive. We, in our Catholic faith, speak of things like purgatory. We also speak of heaven. Our God is the God of the living, not of the dead. And what Jesus promises to those who believe in him is resurrection and life.